everyone, I'm Amanda from Princess and Puddin. Um, Jacob's my nine-year-old son's home on school holiday, so we thought we'd have a little bit of holiday fun. Um, he's normally my cameraman when I can get him to do it. So he came up with the fantastic idea on starting a weekly segment called Ask Amanda. So seeing that this is our first week on trying this, um, we thought maybe Jacob would have a question and he can get the ball rolling. So, off you go, Jacob. He would like to know Can you make a Christmas stocking? Of course we can make a Christmas stocking, Jacob. So for our next segment, before we go on, if there's something you would like to ask me, just put it in the comments below and I'll sort through them and pick something for next week. So let's make a Christmas stocking. First of all, I have bought these Christmas stockings in bulk, um, but I got plain ones that I want to tizzy up a little bit. So I'm just adding some bias binding around the edge. Um, I just have store-bought bias binding like this. You can get all sorts of colours. We've got blues here. You can make your own out of fabrics. Um, but I'll just quickly finish putting on this edge. I've just put it around the um, edge of the green just so it wasn't um, as plain and it gave it a, a bit of a look like homemade made it look a bit more homemade than board. I'll just go around, I'm just going on the edge of the bias, nice and flat. If you're not into sewing or you can't sew, you could get a hot glue gun and um, glue some trim around the edges if you like. go finish that off now we can just turn it back through the way the stocking came that's the way we're going to press so now you've got a stocking with a nice little trim on the bottom it just makes it look a bit nicer so if you'd like to bring the camera over here I'll just show you this design now I'm cutting out the name Jacob using some of my pattern vinyl so I haven't reversed it. Now I want the reindeer facing the other way and I'm just using normal HTV so I've just flipped him around and reversed it. So you can, I put all my pieces on at once like I will show you here. Come around here. Do you recommend a place to get all your stuff? Of course! I've put all the links below on where you can buy the stockings from. You can get your bias tape from Spotlight, any craft store, and of course you can get your pattern vinyl from me. So when I'm doing multiple colours, I like to put mine on my mat at once and cut them all out at once. So my reindeer's reversed and this little scarf, which I'm just weeding now, was also reversed. So this is a little bit of layering too. It's quite simple layering though. Now we're just going to weed the name Jacob. Just going a little bit slow because we do have some finer pieces in this font. 
Okay, now we just need the middle of the A and the B and the O. We'll put that aside. Okay, now because this is normal HTV and we have reversed our design, it has its transfer sheet already built into it. So those two pieces are ready. This next piece I will just cut off. I don't want as much there, so I'm just going to cut a smaller piece. Get the Jacob up off here. We want to put it on the um, HTV application tape that I put in your order when you order HTV. Now, a little red squeegee. Peel it away so it all sticks to our application sheet. Okay, so now I have my reindeer, my scarf, my Jacob, my stocking over to the heat press. Now this is the first time I've done these because they only came in the mail the other day. So I'm just going to see how they're pressed. They've got a few seams in them. So first of all, I'm just going to work out my design. Now I know I want Jacob going off that way a little bit. Just got to make sure I can fit in my reindeer as well. So that looks pretty good to me. So I want my Jacob over to the left hand side so I can fit my reindeer in. So I'm just going to check actually I have got a little piece here. It's just some extra rubber matting that I like to put in and then I can try and avoid that bulky seam up the top there. Okay. We'll press the name on. Now this won't lock down because I've added that extra sheeting but just pretend to count. Use as much pressure as you possibly can. And let's see how that worked. Um, I know at Easter time, lots of people did the bunny bags and things like that. And sometimes you have um, a bit of a difficult time, things adhering to the hessian. Let's see how this went. Ooh, just it will get pressed again when we do our reindeer and our scarf. Okay, keep that little piece. I keep all my bits because they are reusable. Probably six to eight times you can reuse them for. Now, a little reindeer. So if he was to go on the side there, just take that seam off the edge of that extra rubber matting. Teflon sheet, lots of pressure. So I'm actually enjoying Christmas this year. I'm a lot more organised than I was last year. Um, I think I said before I'll put the links below where to get your stockings and your bits and pieces from. And um, I'll still be bringing out a couple more, a couple more Christmas patterns before Christmas. So you'll have lots of choice in your patterns. just close to the seam. Now his scarf goes around his neck. Could be like that. Sheet back on. Lots of pressure again. Um, I'm start having a go at some Christmas baubles too. I've painted some on the inside and I've tried the glitter. I'm not quite sure how they're going to turn out yet, so I'll experiment a little bit more and then I might do another clip for some Christmas balls. Okay, let's see how this went. 
Beautiful. One more quick press to make sure they're all pressed together. Only for about five seconds. Now I'm also going to get um, a little dingly Christmas ball that I'm going to add to the reindeer scarf. But there we go. You have a nice Christmas stocking for Jacob. So if you want me to show you how to do something, just put it in the comments below and I'll do my best to do a clip. Thank you.